Hey guys, so we're talking about the summer strength for students that is coming up, and we've been doing this for, I think, nine years, and I'm going to give some details, some history and stuff in another video that I'll, I'll just like merge with this one, but um, basically it's uh, lifting for middle schoolers and high schoolers as, as well as CrossFit. So <clears throat> there are three options. The two of them you can see right now. So if you go to our website, CrossFitGarage.com, um, and then do what we offer and look for summer strength, you'll see it, but I'll also link it. So for the um, middle schoolers and high schoolers, uh, basically we do CrossFit or we work out, we meet at uh, uh, Monday through Friday at 11 o'clock in the morning until uh, noon. And on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're following Mark Ripito's starting strength. So uh, you can look that up if you'd like, but basically we've um, taken that program and modified it a bit over the few years. And then on Tuesday and Thursday, we're introducing them into uh, CrossFit. So the cost for that whole summer is three fifty. We know that some kids will be on vacation or going out to do camps or sports, or whatever. And that's totally fine. We know how to work with kids on that. If you're going to a place that they're not active, then we can give them some things to do. Like if they're just going to... I don't know if they're going to coding camp and learning to code. Well, we can give them some things that they can do other way if they want. But the idea is to really teach them how to lift so that they can then use that for the rest of their uh, um, high school career, middle school career, whatever. Or if they want to get involved with CrossFit with us in our adult classes, then this is a great entry ramp so they can do our summer strength. And then they're welcome to come uh, with uh, to class like normal. So the other thing we're offering um, is CrossFit for ele elementary age uh, uh, kids. And that'll be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and it'll start at 10 a.m. and go for 45 minutes. You can buy that um, uh, June and then July, or buy both months. It's up to you. So you can see both those right there. So I thought it'd be interesting to look way back. I have had uh, <laughs> this program up for quite some time. And I think back in um, 2015, yeah, there's the video link. I've got my kids went to the gym with me, and we did a video on the lifts that we'd be doing. And so not everything, but it's just kind of cute to see these guys lifting. And then um, I'm going to show you some progress that um, in particular Levi has made since I've got his stats up here. But here is that video. So this is... Um, <laughs> so at Summer Strength here at CrossFit Garage, we're going to teach the kids how to do the bench press so with their Ol elbows in. Olivia's on the bench press with just a bar, no weight. And she's wearing her Cherokee. adding weight over the summer. <laughs> Cherokee show Christian how to do uniform. The strict press. So we got Evan who did Double a push Evan. press, but that's okay. Back down. Good job, Racket. Evan. We'll show them how to do the back squat. And Levi doing the back squat. So I've got Levi's back squat pulled up. So right here, he's doing a back squat with a 15-pound bar. And he's readjusting. And he's One trying to go down. And he's in his Cherokee Christian gear as well. So I have and no lastly, idea. we'll be going into the power clean. Well, actually, due to how old they are. Good job, Olivia. And we'll so we did this video. It was eight years ago. So Levi is 17 right now. So he was uh, nine. That's crazy. So um, then we've got them doing this again. So here's Olivia on the back spot. It's just sort of fun to see actual kids learning to do this over time. She did a couple of them with her back kind of a little bit. There you go, Levi. And then we've got strict press. Oh, Evan, trying to do what? back squat. <laughs> press. <laughs> He's going to strict press. Dad, that's heavy. That's funny. So this is in the buzz cut years when I would cut their hair way down. Oh, we got Jake in here. Jake uh, Smith doing the deadlift. Very nice. Okay. Anyway. Uh, then we got him doing a look. Oh, look at Olivia's sassy face. This is pretty funny. If you know Olivia, you could, should see this. <laughs> picture of her at CrossFit Garage Summer Strength <laughs> so. we're going to learn basic movement proper technique one of the first lifts will be the back squat there you go Olivia's on the back squat every year I and like we'll that we'll also do bench press oh Levi's we'll on the bench press again bench press with close elbows bring your elbows in Levi there you go look at all this that weight buddy Levi's in jeans we'll also be doing Evan. strict press all this again with proper form and then his soccer teaching. gear we're kind of rushing here these guys have been doing this for a while. <laughs> That's awesome. So, anyway, so some videos. It's in the link. You can see that. It's kind of fun to see some kids doing it. So here's a full class. So we've got, I don't know, we had like a, a baseball team come together or yeah, I forgot. It was some sort of team. It was, how long ago was this? This is five years ago. Yeah, of course I forgot who they are. But um, a um, whole bunch of them learning the deadlift. This is day, I think day one or two. Make sure you touch the ground. Anyway, so they're all Jack, doing deadlifts. Sure you got some guys the and ground. girls in no, there. It's pretty fun to watch all this. I forgot these videos were out there. So here's a uh, sweaty day or a CrossFit day. We got some kids on the uh, doing some deadlift or uh, doing some dips. We got other kids doing some uh, jumps. Um, 
on a plate. So I think this is our intention to get them into burpees and to not cheat with the burpees. So let me let me pause that, move it forward a bit, see what else they're doing. I guess some more kids, the clock running. Um, that's one of the days. Here's another day. So this is box jumps and sit ups, and or box steps in some cases, maybe many cases. Just to see how many kids are in there. I was like, I don't know, 20, 20 ish kids. So we'll keep them moving on these sweat days, getting them into cross. It is funny. Some of them like to cheat. So we do have to teach them like, Hey, uh, count your reps. Don't cheat. Oh, this was awesome. Yeah. So this is Samara doing a back squat. It was funny. She could lift so much weight with great form and the guys would be like, Oh, I can do that too. And they could not do that too. So it was, uh, she was crushing all the dudes in nice, the, good uh, back. uh, Back squat as well as the uh, nice, dead your strength, strength work, and making that strength work Let's simple. See. Got some extra video going in there. Here's Ansley, good deadlift. Woo! I think I've spliced together a few. So yeah, she is on the uh, back squat. That is a lot of weight. So this is Ansley Richards. She is a star soccer player, and this was. Oh, she's got. Last I still didn't even need you, oh. Danny. Look at that. It's probably more than last year. She's like, Let's I need a spot. See. She also has the press. Nice. 155? Nice. Oh, there she goes, lifted 155. That's pretty solid. Okay. So those are some of the lifts. And uh, this is me talking about this. I do this video all the time. I thought, well, I'll just have me do the video. I have the video. So here's me talking. I'm going to cut some things out to make it a little bit faster. But the things that you want to know, summer strength, it is meant for kids to learn their strength, uh, form and technique so that that'll stay with them. So a lot of times you may tell your own child, hey, do it like this, but because of the proximity bias, they're too close to you, they just won't listen. So we're gonna tell them these things and you're probably gonna say, hey, I said that exact same thing and that's okay. We'll also talk to them about nutrition, especially the Swole 60. So Levi has been perfecting the Swole program. So if you're a um, teenage boy that is tall and skinny, then this, or well, I guess you could be short and skinny, I don't know. But if you want to put on mass, then uh, you, well, obviously you need to have puberty around you because that's going to help tremendously. And we're going to teach you how to eat and eat and eat and what you should be eating. As well as if you're interested, you can use some creatine that is, well, you can look it up. It's it's safe. And um, um, that'll help put on some mass as well. So Levi will be doing that in the summer. He's been doing that program for about three years now. And so he's bringing it to everybody. I actually have three of my kids getting their level one for uh, CrossFit in at the end of May. So it'd be kind of cool to get, introduce them on to the staff side, not just the uh, um, student side. So anyway, I'm going to play this and then I'm going to stop it and give some extra commentary, but I'm also going to um, edit out a few things that you don't need to hear. So it'll go a little bit faster. Here we go. Lots of questions on <clears throat> what is the... And that is at times two speed. So let me slow that down to put it at uh, regular speed because that would be good. You have three programs for kids and what? So he here's the thought process. You train as a team during the season, but out of season, you fix what's wrong or what your weakest links are with you so that you can then get back into the season with your team. So out of season is for you. During the season is for the team. That's, I mean, for the most part. So 90% team, 10% you. That's what the coach is at least focusing on, right? You should also, it's way more important for you to understand. Let's say in soccer, you're playing, um, I don't know, left forward, right? It's much more important to understand how to play that role than to juggle to 4,000. That's, I mean, you would do a better job understanding, you know, put your rear to the line, uh, open your hips, uh, touch, how to play forward, play back to your wing back to move forward. I mean, all that stuff. So <clears throat> when you want to work on you, it's the off season. And summer is pretty much the off season for everything. Nowadays, I don't know. I mean, every, things go year long. Both uh, two of my kids are doing soccer over the summer through a summer league. So maybe it's never over, though it's mostly just for fun. So anyway, the programs that we have for you guys. So I, I've got it on my screen over here, so I don't forget kind of what I want to say. But all right, I'm going to pause that because we already did the programs. I'm going to slide forward a bit. And um, let's see. I know I had Levi doing some stuff for us. Let me go right about here. I think I was talking about Levi on this one. On where they're lifting and how they've changed from year to year. It's great. It's a lot of fun to see them grow. All right, so that Oh, that's actually what it was. So this is Levi. So this is the part you do see, get to see him grow. And especially my kids, they've been doing this forever. So this is in Wattify. This is Levi's chart. 
Um, so you go back in time, you can see in uh, June 2015, he has his very first back squat at 40 pounds. And over the years, you can see each summer he comes back to us, right? And then he started doing CrossFit sort of throughout the year. And then right in this spot, you see a whole bunch of lifts. This is where he started experimenting and working on um, uh, uh, or perfecting some restraint or the Swole 90. So anyway, you can see way back in June 5th, 2015, he had a 40 pound, um, back squat. And then you fast forward it all the way till, uh, just recently. So July 20th of 2020. Um, wow. That's interesting. He hasn't done back squat since then. Surely he has. I wonder why he didn't put it in there. Um, anyway, uh, he's up to 225 and you can see the large jump right there. And this is, you know, puberty getting a hold of him. So he was at 170 and then within a year it went up to 225. So <clears throat> it certainly helps if you're a teenage boy to have beginning or be in or through puberty, because that's just going to let a lot more testosterone out of your body and you'll be able to work with that. So that is uh, something great to have. That's summer strength. We got that for everybody. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday and Thursday, we do whatever the crop. Let me skip forward a little bit more. Right about here. All right, let's go. You got a team. So like Coach Jamie, she's her kid plays baseball. And she's like, hey, we're talking about doing the same thing for my kids. I'm like, perfect. We'll add a time slot, get them in there. And then we'll change it a little bit based on what they need. So if it's baseball and they're throwing a lot, we want a lot of shoulder mobility. And we want to help their shoulders live. What are the biggest problems that uh, um, a, a catcher sees? Well, it's in my knees. Well, let's work on that. Let's not just go, well, you're a catcher. Your knees are going to suck when you're 50 right? Let's fix that. Let's help them grow. Give them some strength, help them with some proper form, give them foam rollers, give them a Theragun, whatever, right? So we want to help them in the areas that make sense in their sports. So for soccer, since I know that the most, well, actually I know a lot of sports. I coached pole vaulting, fencing, basketball. Once you learn to coach, you can see the uh, spot, the problem. It's, it's really not that tough. You just have to be able to help the team grow the individual, right? So for soccer, we will do the similar lifts on Monday, Wednesday, all right, so I'm going to pause that and move it forward. So all that stuff still rings true. If you have a team and you would like to bring them to us, then great, we'll put them in class. We can take up to about, I think we could do, I think it was either 33 or 44. It was one of those odd numbers to get them on the bars. Um, we use the kids uh, to help slow themselves down by stacking more of them on bars. That way they can't just go crazy fast. A lot of times when they lift, it's just, uh, uh, they do it so dang quick. So it's it's not, um, we have learned our lesson and slowing them down by putting more together is actually beneficial. Um, uh, I think it is a good, mm, I think it's grit. And they're talking about the 10,000 hours or something that you have to do to put in, become, you know, go from good to great. Maybe it's good to great that book. I don't know. But um, <clears throat> the, uh, 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 the, the quote that I thought was awesome is uh, the, those that are excellent master the mundane. So the mundane is boring. Go juggle. Oh my gosh. Really? Yeah. Uh, Larry Bird, do you think he was like, man, shooting? I shoot so much. I'm not going to shoot anymore. Master the mundane. He shoots like all the, well, he did. I don't know if he probably still does. All the time. So you have to master the mundane. Juggling is mundane, but it makes you awesome. So. Yeah, that's true. That's still true. Yeah, I love this video. I should, well, maybe I should redo it, but it's true. Master the mundane in your sport and you'll be awesome. Um, we aren't we're going to be mastering the edges, so helping you get stronger for that sport so that you can uh, play and produce uh, better. So let me skip ahead a little bit more. The next one is Swole 60. Well, how is that different than summer strength? Uh, totally different. If you are interested in playing a sport and you want to become more athletic for that sport, Swole 60 is not for you. This is specifically, for, again, looking at someone like a Levi or even my other son, Evan, I am a s tall, skinny, small, small, uh, or short, small, whatever, uh, boy. And you can be a girl too, but it's typically the boys that are like, oh, dang, I need to like, I'd like to get bigger. So um, it could be sports driven. So in, in Levi's case, he's playing high school soccer and he's a freshman that's only 5'5 five, five and 105 pounds. He can get his, I mean, there are seniors out there that have 
full growth. And you're like, <laughs> it is pretty funny. So he is now a junior and he is much bigger. So he is almost six feet tall and he's about 130 pounds. So he has gained some weight, but the, he's gained 15 pounds in the last, I think two or three months, um, focusing on this swole program, getting it ready for the summer and, uh, eating more protein as well as taking some creatine. So look that up. It's totally safe. Um, anyway, I'll probably stop that right there. I just think it's interesting that, you know, we do these videos all the time. We talk the same talk. These programs really work. So if your kids and student athlete, yes, we could help them. That's going to be the, uh, basically that CrossFit side as well, the strengthening side. If your kid is saying, um, if it's a teenage boy and saying, Hey, I would like to be bigger, that is your swole program. So Levi will be helping um, everybody through that. And we're still working on the details. So I don't have those yet, but you can email me and I will totally tell you that's a great picture of me. Let me uh, <laughs> change that. I look stupid there. But um, we he, he can uh, uh, get you the information or we'll get you the information on that. Just let me know if you're interested. Um, uh, and then, of course, we have um, elementary stool age uh, CrossFit, and that'll be with Coach Jamie. So these are great programs. I've been doing it for my own kids for years. Now they're old enough and they will be, uh, I think two of them are assisting. And then uh, Levi is going to be doing his own class. So this is great stuff. If you've got a kid that you want to ex have uh, excel or propel in sports, then this is a great way to do it. There has to be an off season somewhere. And what do you do in that off season? Well, champions are made in the off season. So what are you going to do? Many times, like if you were, oh man, I, Salar knows this. We've talked about this. If we had this when we were kids, we would have come out of uh, uh, you know the summer season and been just crushing it. So sports like uh, track and field or uh, wrestling, CrossFit is great for. Um, every other sport is awesome for too, but there's like, I mean, nothing like pushing yourself for two minutes in a wrestling match, which, and then you get a minute rest. And if you can teach your body to recover, man, that is beautiful. Or simply using this strength for any sport, whether it's football, basketball, baseball, it doesn't matter. It'll make you stronger. Now I will say being stronger does have its problems. If you have a finesse sport like golf and you get stronger, then your swing will get like messed up because you've gotten stronger. Now it'll go further and longer, all that good stuff. Um, but you're going to have to be swinging as well as getting stronger. You can't leave a sport like golf alone. Now, uh, on the other side of it, let's like say, um, uh, football, you know, if you are running in and smacking people, man, you don't need to do that. This, this is going to work perfect for you because you're going to be stronger. You'll be heavier. It'll be great. You don't need to practice that. You're going to be just fine. If you're a pitcher, you do need to watch your throwing arm. We'll help you with that. And you need to be pitching a little bit um, so that you can understand how to apply the strength that you're uh, that you've got. Um, swimming or running, totally fine. Pole vaulting, totally fine. Some of the other weird sports that I've played, but <clears throat> this is good stuff. And, or on the other side, if you just have an elementary school age kid and you want them to get their energy out and you want them to start learning some of these things, that's what we're here for. We're going to teach them. It's that proximity bias where you'll say something to them and they just won't listen. We're going to tell them the exact same thing. Hey, you should eat your, your meat first, then your vegetables, and then the fun stuff. And they're going to be like, wow, Coach Andy said, and you're like, I've been saying that forever. It's just the proximity bias. It's what happens. So if you got questions, hit me back with them. We're here to help. We could take up, to, well, we're doing two different classes. So um, really, I suppose it's about for the elementary school age kids, it's probably going to be like 15 or so. It'll be the probably the max for the summer strength. Um, we have had up to about 35 kids in that class and it's worked very well. We just put more coaches in it. The Swole 60 program will probably be on the smaller side. So it'll probably be 10 or less uh, kids in that. Um, I guess if we get more, maybe we'll have to open up more times, but, um, that bumps into our normal class time and we don't, we, you know, we got to protect our class times as well. So give us a heads up. Let us know if you're interested. And if you need more details, we are here. You've got my email, my cell phone. It's all over our website. Um, just give me a shout and I'm happy to answer those questions. All right, guys, looking forward to seeing you this summer. Yeah.